by the most fun organizationally was HBO. I mean, it was just sort of a place in time where you had the coincidence of almost everybody being the same age, but it was roughly 28 to 40 years old. Um, in fact, th two of my Princeton baseball teammates and, and a third classmate were at HBO just by serendipity. That was the former CEO of HBO, Frank Biondi, sharing his thoughts about running the groundbreaking company in its early years. Though he may not have been a household name, you can find Biondi's footprints anywhere there is a television set, even after his death in 2019. Joining us now, his daughter, Jane Biondi, Mana as well, married. Uh, she serves as managing director at J.P. Morgan Chase and is author of a new book entitled Let's Be Frank, a daughter's tribute to her father, the media mogul you never heard of. I loved watching you, watching him, and seeing you beam. Yes. <laughs> it's a complete daughter's love. Um, but tell us about not just his impact on television. I love the concept of how this book came to be. Yes. Well, he had a, an enormous impact on the media industry uh, at a seminal time, particularly when pay content became a thing. You know, mm -hmm. it was novel at the, at the time, and now we take it for granted. And I always encouraged him that he should tell that story because it was really relevant to today's media industry. He was reluctant. Um, he was kind of an unassuming guy. But uh, when he was diagnosed with terminal cancer, cancer, he finally agreed to do it. And so he spent the last year of his life gathering the many stories that he had from his time in the media industry. And we put it together. Um, I had the great privilege of being able to finish it after he died. Mm. But as I wrote it, I came to appreciate that his biggest impact was his humanity, his ethics, his humility, and leadership qualities that we see less and less of in the world today that I thought anyone could benefit from learning from. Uh, and his friends rallied around to help finish it. Your very own Steve Ratner provided an Steve. endorsement for the book. They nice. worked together for some time. Um, and it was my privilege to be able to share him with the world because he really was a special and unique man, not just as an executive, but as a person. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about HBO right now, which of course at, at the moment is such a fixture on the media landscape, producing seminal shows year after year. But at the time when your father was there, it was seen as sort of a risky bet, a fledgling thing. Talk to us about how he helped grow it. It absolutely was a, a risky and fledgling bet. Um, some of the tactical things that they did to grow the business was they just did a lot of research about how the cable industry was going to develop. So they were betting on the consumers that were actually paying money to buy HBO and the movie channel, which was their um, competitor at the time, now also Showtime and Cinemax. So HBO execs knew that there was demand for their product before the studios did. So they went and bought content from the studios and they provided another revenue stream for the movie studios. In fact, at the time, studios started to rely on HBO's fees to actually fund new films, which was something I didn't know until putting the book together. But they had better information, essentially, than the mm -hmm. studios did, and they were able to pay more money for content, knowing that on a per-subscriber basis it would be cheaper by the time the films came to HBO. So, Jane, you finished the book for your dad. Hmm. What part of you would your dad recognize if he were here with us? Oh, what a great question. I, I hope he would say um, my kindness, uh, my thoughtfulness, um, and my dedication. I, am, I have a lot of fortitude. <laughs> I stuck with this through yeah. a pandemic, uh, through grieving him. Um, he was my rock. We were very, very close. I was at his eulogy. I said the thing that I often have been most proud of was being his daughter. Mm -hmm. um, but I hope he would say he's proud to be my dad. And you talked, you know, you talked a lot about his leadership qualities, but it sounds like his humanity and the qualities he has as your father played very much into his leadership. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, some of the things in the book that uh, were news to me uh, in, in learning them from him in the process that he was very much about building partnerships that would maintain after the deal. He didn't view deals as transactions necessarily, that in order for them to succeed, everyone needed to feel like they got a good deal in the transaction. Uh, so there's a great story in the book about when he was at Coca-Cola, which many people didn't know, ventured into entertainment in the early 80s to diversify out of soft drinks. Um, he was put in charge of building that charge of building that division and was invest in Castle Rock. Mm. Um, and Alan Horn and his team ultimately 
ultimately went on to build Seinfeld, you know, the most consequential television show in history. Oh, yeah. But the deal in financing Castle Rock was an interesting one in that dad offered them terms, Universal offered them what seemed to be better terms, and dad said, it doesn't sound like they can offer you what they've offered you based on what I know about industry licensing fees and so forth. And sure enough, dad was right and they came back and he honored the original terms of the deal just because it was going to be the right thing to do to be partners. And, you know, Alan and Martin Schaefer had said not only did he not have to honor those terms, um, but he chose to sweeten the deal a little bit just to be sure that everyone succeeded. Um, and they still remember that to this day and participated in telling that story. What a wonderful experience for you. Uh, and thank you for sharing him with us. Uh, the new book is entitled Let's Be Frank, a daughter's tribute to her father, the media mogul you've never heard of. Jane Biondi Mana, thank you so much. It's great to have you on the show. And thank you for sharing the book with us. Thank you so much for having me. Long time viewer, first time visitor. Yay! All right, <laughs> 15 so years? Really? That's a long time, Jane. All right, it does it for us this morning and for the week. And what a week it's been.